we're not going to close. We're going to be a, 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 around the year eligible for, for everybody to, to come. I see tour operators, I see travel agents, I see airline companies here from the United Kingdom, USA, France. They want to come, they're going to come early, March, April. Do you think it's going to be a good year, 22, for you? Yes, if, if we don't see something very radical with the, with the, with the pandemic, it's going to be a, a very good year, not because it's happening randomly, but because we, we fight for it, because we, we earn every traveller, because we offer a new touristic experience, because we put the spotlight on new destinations, more islands, smaller islands, larger islands, mainland, city break, we're there for everybody. But how do you <clears throat> prevent the over-tourism that we have seen in so many places. We don't want to go back to the Good bad old days. And nobody's really got a solution, because you either use economics to price people, or you use regulation to determine who goes and who doesn't. Thank you for the question. There's no magical answer. So what you do is you, you strengthen infrastructure. We've got 320 million from our RRF fund, the European Resilience Fund, to put into infrastructures to build better infrastructures, to help small islands de deal with that. And I told you before, and I'm honest about it, there are not just two or three or five brand locations in Greece. There can be a hundred locations in Greece. So let's spread travelers and tourists all over the place, around the country, but north are, and south. But are we heading to a scenario where eventually you're going to have to say enough? I don't like enough. I, I want more, I want, I will, I want quality. I want better income, better uh, jobs, better paid, higher paid, and I have no problem, we have no problem with volume. Since we have so many beautiful places in Greece that everybody can, uh, can visit, it doesn't only have to be the two or three branded places. Well, people found out about them back, back in the 50s and the 60s. How many more beautiful places do you think the Brits can find uh, out if they travel to Greece this year, or the Americans, or the French? Many, many more.